namaste uh, welcome to this uh, papson distant learning uh, program collaborations with the janta television and today uh, for class 9 uh, we are uh, taking the subject science uh, for class 9 and uh, in class 9 also uh, there is a uh, four category is uh, divided the whole science book that is uh, physics chemistry biology and astronomy and geology out of that first lesson first lesson of that physics that measurement we are going to discuss so for today's topic for the uh, discussion is measurement that is from uh, class 9 okay about the measurement uh, you might have learned uh, from lower class like in grade 6 grade 7 grade 8 and in this grade 9 also we are going to discuss the measurement and why this measurement we are continuously uh, reading up to grade 9 is especially the physics it deals with the measurement the measurement of the length measurement of the uh, mass and different measurement uh, calculations deal by the physics that's why this measurement it is very essential one and this measurement it is essential in the day-to-day -day life also whenever you visit the shop for buying the something then the measurement is essential there right and similarly whenever uh, we uh, perform the some scientific work the measurement is essential one so everywhere so if you uh, go to the uh, tailor to sew the clothes in that case also the measurement is required one that's why measurement it is everywhere equally essential one that's why we are going to learn this measurement okay so let's dive into the measurement chapter of grade 9 so in grade 9 especially we will discuss about the uh, fundamental quantity and the derived quantity about this fundamental and derived quantity in previous also you might have learned that we will discuss here similarly fundamental unit and the derived unit also we will discuss on this grade 9 and similarly we will discuss the differentiation between the fundamental unit and the derived unit and its relation also we will discuss so a uh, few things about this we have learned in grade 9 grade 8 grade 7 grade 6 also but a little bit more about that we will discuss on this grade 9 okay so let's start this measurement so before starting this measurement mm, I have uh, this doster is here right so uh, if I ask what is the length of this uh, duster then for expressing the length of this duster we need to know some measuring tools we can use scale also right and uh, we can use meter rod also we can use measuring tape also so I have brought here one scale for the measuring the length of this uh, duster so let's see so if I see check here from here then it is about 14.5 centimeter that is the measurement what i have done this is the non-standard quantity and this one is the unknown quantity i don't know the length of this uh, duster till now because here is we ha i haven't compared this that means the measurement is the comparison of unknown quantity with the non standard quantity so let's define this measurement I have said measurement it is the comparison of unknown quantity with the non standard quantity that is the measurement now this measurement I have said so I have asked what is the length of this right similarly I can ask what is the mass of this object right similarly if the some moving object are there then I can ask what is the velocity of that moving object or I can ask what is the speed of that object I can ask what is the acceleration of that object that means whatever component we can measure those component or those quantities are called the physical quantity so what I have defined so I have defined the physical quantity so what is physical quantity I have already said the quantity which can be measured directly or indirectly that quantities are called the physical quantity for example length I can measure directly by using the scale so that is the physical quantity right similarly mass also we can measure 
that is also the physical quantity speed also we can measure acceleration also we can measure isn't it height also we can measure that's why this all the quantities which can be measured is called the physical quantity right but some of the quantity for example uh, if you are angry then if i ask the question what is your level of angriness how much you get angered if i ask then you may think that you have asked the silly question to me right you may think i'm a foolish if i ask the, that kind of question which cannot be measured man you may love your fa uh, parents father mother if i ask how much you love to your parents then that may be the silly question isn't it right so those quantity which cannot be measured that is not physical quantity example love and similarly happiness and uh, anger so this cannot be measured when so they are not considered as a physical quantity and this physical quantity we can express this physical quantity in terms of two parts one is the so physical quantity we can express in terms of one is the number and uh, unit for example if i ask the mass then if i ask the mass of my body then i may say 50 kg right so this i have expressed of mass so mass is the physical quantity and this physical quantity i have explained in terms of number right this is also called the quantity also and uh, also the unit so physical quantity can be explained in terms of number and the unit so Mm, this is the representations of physical quantity now if we check the different kind of physical quantity then there is a two kind of physical quantity we can see okay the types of physical quantity so types of physical quantity we can divide this physical quantity into the two types one is called the fundamental fundamental quantity and next one is called the derived quantity so the quantity which is not depend upon the other quantity that is called the fundamental quantity for example length can you explain the length in terms of mass we cannot right similarly length cannot be explained in terms of volume also isn't it that's why the length is independent one and it doesn't depend upon the others so it is called the fundamental quantity similarly mass also fundamental quantity right temperature also fundamental quantity and the electric current also fundamental quantity so the fundamental quantity that is not depend upon the other quantity they are called the fundamental quantity and similarly the derived quantity mean which can be expressed in terms of fundamental quantity that is called the derived quantity for example if i say the speed if i say the speed then this speed can be explained in terms of distance that is length right and the time so speed can be explained in terms of distance and the time so it is the derived quantity similarly if i say the acceleration acceleration i can represent this by a and this acceleration also the derived quantity why because it can be explained in terms of velocity and the time so acceleration it can be explained in terms of velocity and the time so this acceleration also the derived quantity so this is about the fundamental quantity and the derived quantity now uh, one questions for you why the velocity is called the derived quantity so you just uh, get give the answer uh, whatever we have discussed previously so you can answer this i think right so another one we have is unit right so what is unit let's see let's see so if i wants to measure the length of this line let's say this length of this line then this may be let's say 18 cm right here <coughs> 18 is there and the centimeter is there this centimeter is the unit because it is the standard quantity 
with which we can express the uh, unknown quantity that's why it is called the unit so the unit it is the standard quantity which are used for comparing the unknown physical quantity and especially this unit it can measure the similar kind of quantity for example this centimeter we can use that for measuring the length right but to compare the length height distance for comparing that we can use the centimeter meter that means the similar quantities can be measured by using the unit so example of the unit i have said this centimeter it is the unit of length meter also that is a unit of length joule is there that is a unit of work or energy right similarly the force is there that is the newton the unit of uh, force is newton that is also the uh, unit okay so this unit also can be categorized into two groups depending upon its nature there is two type of units are there so unit also divide into two groups they are fundamental unit fundamental unit and the second one is derived unit so simple definition of this fundamental unit is the unit which are used to express the fundamental quantity is called the fundamental unit also we can see it the unit which are independent on other unit they are called the fundamental unit example is like meter that is fundamental unit right similarly uh, kilometer also the fundamental unit and uh, similarly uh, the uh, kg kilogram that is also the fundamental unit second that is a fundamental unit ampere that is the fundamental unit right so similarly seven type of fundamental unit we need to discuss you can see in the screen also there is uh, given the seven fundamental unit so you can see here also right length is there time is there mass is there electric current that is ampere that is also the uh, fundamental unit similarly amount of substance that is also the fundamental uh, the mole is the fundamental unit temperature and the luminous intensity these are the uh, example of the fundamental unit so we can use meter scale for measuring the length right similarly we can use the thermometer digital thermometer you might have seen whenever you suffer from fever then your parents or doctor they used to measure so that uh, digital thermometer and the thermometer they can be used for measuring the temperature similarly pan balance bin balance are there that can be used for measuring the weight and similarly clock that can be used for measuring the time right and there is one more uh, device you have seen on the lower most right corner which is called the photometer which are used for measuring the uh, intensity that is uh, luminous intensity is measured by this device which is called the photometer and you can see on the uh, top right corner there is a ammeter is there which are used for measuring the amount of current you can see electricity in your home and the amount of current flow through it can be measured by using the device called the ammeter now next one is derived unit are there so derived unit are the unit which are used to express the derived quantity derived quantity you have learned previously also like velocity acceleration force right weight they are the example of derived quantity and the unit of those derived quantities are called the derived unit so let me give the one example so if there is force force it is the derived quantity and the unit of this force is called the derived unit so unit of this one is newton right so it is the unit derived unit similarly if there is velocity is there velocity that is meter per second it is also the derived unit right similarly if i say the acceleration acceleration the unit of acceleration is meter per second square this also the derived unit another definition also there for this derived unit the units which can be expressed in terms of fundamental unit they are called the derived unit for example this newton so let me derive and why it is called the derived unit let me show so force we can use the formula for measuring the force is mass into acceleration this is the formula 
that force equals to mass into acceleration. Now, what is the unit of mass? It's a kg, and acceleration is meter per second square, right? So kg, it is a unit of mass. Meter per second square is the unit for the acceleration. So the, this combinedly called the Newton, and this Newton can be explained in terms of kg, that is the unit of mass, meter, unit of length, second, unit of time, so this Newton is called the derived unit. Why it is called derived unit? Newton can be explained in terms of kg, that is a unit of mass, meter, that is a unit of length, and the second, that is the unit of time, that's why Newton is called the uh, derived unit. Yeah? So similarly, if we want to explain, let's say, velocity, why the unit of velocity is called the derived unit, let's say. So velocity formula is displacement by time taken. So velocity is displacement by time taken. Displacement, it is a length, so unit is meter, and time, it is a second. Right? So, a unit of velocity is meter per second, and why it is called the derived unit is, meet, it can be explained in terms of meter, that is the unit of length, and the second, that is the unit of time. That's why the unit of velocity also called the derived unit. So, you can see in the slide, there is a different uh, derived quantities are given over there, and their formulas also given over there, you can see in the right hand side also there. Right, and uh, their derived unit and the basic unit involved on that that is explained over there. So let's see the acceleration. One acceleration. Let's see why the unit of acceleration is called derived unit. Let's see. So acceleration is there. Acceleration formula is velocity by time taken. This is the formula for acceleration. And velocity is meter per second. This is the unit for the velocity. And time taken is second. So you can see three layer here. So let me write this in the proper way. That is meter per second. And the second is that this is main divider one. So three layer it forms over there. So let's change that into the two layer. So we can write down here divide one. So this is meter per second into this denominator will be reversed one whenever we change that into the two layer. That is one by s. That is meter per second square. So this is the unit for the acceleration. And our question is why this unit is called the derived unit. So let me explain. The unit of this acceleration, that is meter per second square, can be explained in terms of meter. That is the unit of length. And the second, that is the unit of time. So the unit of this acceleration, it is called the derived unit. Yeah? Now next one is uh, one more, uh, let's see, power. <coughs> So one more we have is power, and uh, power formula is power equals to work done by time taken. This is the formula for the power, right? And uh, unit of power, we will write down this W. That is the unit of power, this power, right? So work done. And uh, work done, we can calculate by the force into displacement, and the time is second, right? Now, what is the force? Force is, again, we have previously mentioned this mass into acceleration into displacement by time. So let's write down the unit of these. Mass is kg, and uh, acceleration is meter per second square. It's a meter per second square, and this distance is meter divided by s. So if we write down, let's write down this like this. 
Okay, let me write down in up. So this one is kz and meter and meter is there. That is meter square, right? Meter square and time is there. So second square is there in the denominator. Similarly here, second is there. That is second cube is the unit, which is commonly called as the watt, right? Now, why this watt is called the derived unit is the watt, it can be expressed in terms of kg, unit of mass, in terms of meter, unit of length, in terms of second, unit of time. So the watt is called the uh, derived unit. Okay, so some other example also I have shown in the slide, right? Now, uh, there's some questions are there why the kilogram kg is called the fundamental unit that you have got the idea that I have already explained, right? Similarly, acceleration, why acceleration is called the derived unit that also we have explained previously, right? And the why the unit of density is called the derived unit that also we have explained. So let me soon about the density, okay? Density. Density symbol is D also we can write down and rho also we can write down. So here I will mention this rho. Rho equals to mass by volume. That is the uh, formula for the density, right? Now, what is the unit of mass? It's a kg. And uh, what is the unit of this volume? That is meter cube, right? SI unit is meter cube. The formula is L into B into H, and uh, the three quantity, they are distance. That's why it's a meter cube. So density f uh, unit is kg per meter cube, and it can be explained in terms of kg, unit of mass, meter, unit of length. So the dens unit of density is called the derived unit. So these are about the derived unit and the fundamental unit. Now. about the SI unit or why the standard unit are essential in the world, right? You might have heard about the SI unit that are uh, followed by the all the countries in the world and why that SI unit are essential one. So let's discuss about that, okay? Okay, in different countries, uh, if you talk about the Nepal also, uh, we in the village, whenever we visit the village, then uh, if you want to uh, explain the mass, the people over there, they will explain in terms of mana, right? In terms of muri, in terms of seer, isn't it? This kind of, this kind of uh, units they are using uh, while uh, they express the mass. Similarly, the people in the village, they explain the length of any material in terms of hat and the bitta. For example, this is the bitta, right? If you visit uh, some places, then they may measure the length of the clothes with the help of this bitta also, right? They may use this hat also. It is called the hat, right? And if the foreign people or other, other country one people, they visit on the village, then they will not understand this kind of unit. Similarly, other countries also, they may have their own kind of unit in the local places, which cannot be understood by us also and the other people also. So due to these difficulties, the people, they uh, find the same kind of unit which can be standardized all over the world, uh, which is called the SI system of unit or it is also called the standard unit also. So to make the global trade easy, right? The people, they can easily understand the measure, measurement throughout the world, the standard units are introduced one. And what should be the characteristic of the standard units are that should not be changed with the place. What I mean is, if uh, we use that unit on Kathmandu, that is the one unit, and if we use that in the Tarai region, then that should not be the another unit. That means the it should not change with the place to place. That is the characteristic of the standard unit. Similarly, it should not be affected by the other physical quantities also. If there is temperature is there, if there is pressure is there, that should not affect to that standard unit. And 
it should be easily reproducible one what that mean is we can change that into the multiple and the sub multiple also easily that is the characteristic of the standard unit and uh, about this unit you might have learned uh, three type of unit uh, in the lower class especially four types uh, three types and one type is the modified form we can consider that four types also you might have learned in the lower class what are they like uh, FPS system of unit so we are going to discuss about the system of unit okay system of unit different system of unit we are going to discuss system of unit so first one is FPS system of unit system of unit this you might have learned in lower class right CGS system of unit third one is MKS system of unit and uh, last one it is the modified form of MKS which is called the SI system of <coughs> unit so this four type of system of unit are uh, used worldwide right so let's discuss about this this you might have learned in grade 8 also FPS F stands for the foot P stands for the pound and the S stands for the second foot pound and the second so the definition of this FPS system of unit is the system of unit in which the mass is measured in the pound okay let's start from the length length is measured in the foot mass is measured in the pound and the time is measured in the second is called the FPS system of unit and especially it is also called the British system of unit also this FPS system of unit it is called the British system of unit and next the CGS system of unit so let's follow the same pattern whatever we have defined previously when C stands for the centimeter right length okay and this G stands for the gram unit of mass and the S stands for the unit of the time so let's define the CGS system of unit the system of unit in which length is measured in the centimeter mass is measured in the gram and the time is measured in the second is called the CGS system of unit and this system of unit is also called the French system of unit also CGS system of unit it is also called the French system of unit right so last one is there this sorry second last one is there MKS system of unit so same pattern you can follow for the defining this this M it's a meter K it's a kilogram and the S it is the second that is time so let's define the system of unit in which length is measured in meter mass is measured in kilogram and the time is measured in second is called the MKS system of unit so once again the system of unit in which the length is measured in the meter mass is measured in the kilogram and uh, time is measured in the second it is called the MKS system of unit it is also called the metric system of unit also okay this MKS system of unit it is also called the MKS system of unit now last one is their SI system of unit this SI system of unit it is the uh, derived from the French uh, language right and in the French language the this one is also called the system international the units right which means that international system of unit I have mentioned in the slide also this one so that means this you can see on the right hand side there this is the system international the unit which meaning is international system of unit and it is uh, derived or it is uh, prepared on the 1960 AD 
uh, with the help of the General Conference of the Weights and Measure uh, that introduced the SI system of unit as it is required for the global trade. This system of unit is introduced one. And this SI system of unit, it is modified form of the MKS system of unit. That's why it is also called the rationalized MKS system of unit. This SI system of unit is derived from the MKS system of unit, so it is called the rationalized system of the uh, rationalized MKS system of unit. Okay, so I have listed uh, the different uh, unit that is uh, related with this SI system of unit. So you can check their length, uh, meter, right, mass, kg, time, second and electric current ampere capital a so uh, this about the how to write this symbol we will discuss a little bit later on and the amount of substance that mole is there and temperature kelvin is there and luminous intensity candela is there and uh, the two more units it is considered as a supplementary unit like angle radian the symbol for this one is rad radian you might have learned in the geometry also the measurement of angle for that radian is the uh, this SI unit or SI system of unit for the measurement of angle similarly sol solid angle is there that is the stair radian is used one for measuring the solid angle in SI system of unit so these are the SI system of unit of the different quantities that we use in our daily life okay now what is the way of writing the symbols of the unit? Let's check. For example, if I want to write down the length of the, let's say this board, let's say two meter, okay? The length of this board, let's say two meter. Two meter, so either I should write down capital M or small m that also we should know how to write down this kind of symbol, right? If there is, uh, let's say, derived unit R there, let's say Newton meter square is there, let's say, that is Newton meter square, is this correct or not? To know that, there should be the certain uh, rules should be known one for writing this kind of symbol. So let's see. In the physics, some of the unit, uh, they are given to honor the scientist for their work. For example, if I say Newton, that is the, uh, to honor the Sir Isaac Newton, right? And uh, Zul, that is also, right? And uh, similarly, uh, the uh, Newton also, and the Watt also for uh, honoring the scientist. So that kind of unit, the symbol is represented by the initial capital alphabet, for example. If I say Newton, it's a unit, right? So the symbol is capital N. So remember that the unit which are given for honoring the scientist, their symbol must be represented by the initial capital alphabet of their name. Newton, so I have said Zul also, right? And I have said uh, Watt also. So this symbol must be represented by the capital alphabet right similarly other symbol the usual symbol that can be used with the small alphabet for example if I write down the meter then this is the small alphabet right kilogram kg also a small one right centimeter also small one so other unit we mention with the help of this small alphabet right similarly while writing the full name of the unit if the, those unit are used for expressing or those unit are uh, f for honoring the scientist in that case that should be mentioned with the small alphabet for example if you write down this Newton then it is a name of the scientist but for the symbol for the unit we will write down this Newton so while writing the unit please write down this with a small alphabet while writing the full name and while writing the symbols you must have written in the capital alphabet so uh, this thing we have discussed and uh, one more thing if we are writing the compound uh, unit in that case 
we'll write down by separating with the space or either we use the dot between that for example if i want to mention this newton meter then newton dot meter or simply newton space and the meter should be used one so uh, this thing we have discussed today and uh, about this uh, measurement some numerical problems are there that we will discuss on the uh, next uh, next classes so uh, so let's practice whatever today we have discussed and we have discussed uh, today the fundamental unit derived unit fundamental quantity uh, derived quantity right and the different system of unit like cgs system of unit mks system of unit fps system of unit and the si system of unit so this kind of unit today we have discussed which you have discussed in the previous classes also like in grade 6 grade 7 and the in grade 8 also you might have learned that we have continued one and some more things also we have discussed that and we have also learned that how to write down the simple symbol of the units in the proper way that also we have discussed in the today's uh, class one so remember that whenever you mention the symbol right unit for uh, scientist name right which are derived from the name of the scientist while writing the symbol that must be capital one for example this newton zul and the watt is there that should be mentioned in the capital letter and uh, whenever we write the full name then that should be in the capital sorry small letter for example this newton and if you want to write down the watt then that must be written as a watt small so this represent the unit and if you write down this in capital then that will be the name of the scientist so these things we have learned today and in next class we will continue and uh, so let's practice whatever we have discussed uh, for today and uh, thank you very much for joining the class hope you will